Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to send email, how to send email inside a communicate. So in this video we can continue send email, but last video we can make like a user wise send email. Suppose you can choose any user here, any user you can search and you can get the data. So this is the user wise we can send an email. So in this video we can do like a subject you can type. Suppose do you want to choose the user, so also send an email. Suppose do you want to choose like a student, parents, otherwise teachers, so also we can send an email. So let's continue, it does not take time, it is a very simple way, so I can explain now very quick. So please carefully watch the video, so do you want to not understand anything, so please comment out and do you want to like this video, so please like, okay. So let's continue now, so let's open the my codes, resources, use, inside we need to go like uh, admins communicate inside we have created like a send email dot blade dot php suppose you are not follow the series so just you can watch like a last video so you can understand also i will provide a big means a description inside this is the this video links so don't worry about that so let's see now here is a like message too we have already created array so let's go to routes dot web dot php and inside we can copy this line and we can search where is the our post method so here is a post method just i can use a go to definition so i am going to automatic for this controller otherwise do you want to go app http controller inside you can see like a communicate controller dot php and here is a one function there send email users okay so here we have already done like a single one suppose do you want to choose here like whatever user so automatic send email to here wise now we need to do like a, suppose i can select the like a Students, so only all the students need to send the email who is not deleted. Like here, all the record there, like a, like one, two, three, four, five, five students there testing students. So we need to send all the students for this mail. Suppose I can choose the parents, so only can receive these parents. Suppose I can choose like student and parents, so both of you can receive the emails. Okay, so let's show you one by one how we can do it. So just we can make like a DD request all. And I save now. I just add a like subjects. I always end Android app, and I can. I don't want to choose any user. I just choose the parent, student, and parent. I can type like a like testing data here. Okay. I click on the send email. So you can see it like a message too. Who is a three and four? Three means student, and four means parents. Because we have already created one users like like this users user types. So three means student, and four means parents. So we need to make here one condition not a condition for each loop if is not empty like a dollar message to or a request message to and i can set like else no need a else just go down message to and we can do here like a for each loop because we need to get all the data one by one dollar request message to as dollar message to and also we need to use here like a user table inside get the data user wise so let's go to users controller now means users models and here we already did before this function so we can use it otherwise we can create a new function how to get a data using the user wise means the user type wise so is a class id teachers id student i student search uh, my students so I think we have not created let's create now so just click here we can do like get user is equal to users get user because I create the same function name get users and also I pass like a message to message to means the user type let's change here like a user type so it's better we can understand easily okay and I can change also user type here so let's go to users model and any any place you can create a new function let's create here new function like a static function get user here we can type like a user type okay because we have passed like one parameter here so this parameter i have declared don't worry so do you want to use like this so it's also possible to work okay so just copy bottom let's type query so it's good for you and good for me return self self means is a above class name 
and here you, whatever class name there like a, one minute this is the class name users means self other do you want to use like users so also possible so don't worry about that whatever do you want to like you can use it okay let's go down and we are select users dot star and I can make like here condition where users types is equal to dollar user type and here I can make like a get because we need to get the all the data also we need to check here some query suppose is not deleted so we can check where users dot is delete is equal to zero so this is the user is active so it's not deleted so we need to check also this one so two two condition I put one is the user type against and one is a is admin means is delete against let's open the database and I can show you okay let's go to so do you want to conquer so you can conquer do you want to not conquer so not conquer whatever do you want to like so you can remove so also work because we have not used here any join query this reason possible to work so let's open the our database and I can show you so let's go to users and users inside you can see it like a user type like here is all the ID available like here you can see it like a user type you can see two three four means teachers student and parents we are getting like three four because two, teacher I have not selected otherwise you can see it here two means teachers okay so here I can get the data so just we need to make here for each loop for each and here we don't want to make like value so just removing dollar value because whatever data I get we already pass here written you can see it here okay sorry here like the here so returns and after I need to just copy above line like this is the line and just put here and let's change to value to users okay and users inside I have passed like a send messages so is that whatever request inside I will get these messages like a here message and also I put like subject so whatever I will type this subject you can see it here okay and after is a user table inside whatever data I get like a users admin send email user mail means uh, because we have created this is the send email user mail one mail function so let's open and show you so let's go to app inside mail inside you can see like send email user mail here we have passed like a one parameter like a dollar user so this dollar user we are using here and also I need to pass inside a publicly so I will just declare this variable and inside I have put like a dollar this dot user users and after this is the like Laravel 10 so carefully don't use like this in Laravel 9 8 is impossible to work so I can suggest only for this one work inside Laravel 10 okay so after we have created a new inbound means here is we can pass like subjects and also we use like markdown so markdown inside emails dot send email and suppose I can go to is like emails inside send mail so you can see it like here is a send message means we already pass inside a communicate like sorry we have passed here send message and inside a message and send subject and here we can pass like subjects okay so here we are using this send email now whatever there database inside username like here name this name we have passed inside a name and also here you can see it like a we have passed like subjects okay like a dollar this so this is the user variable we have passed inside dollar this user so dollar this inside what's there send subject so we have used this is the I will create my column not a database column so carefully I can tell you this is the column I have created personally so but do you want to add another column name like you can use like this messages so you need to change like here messages here like this understand so also work so I can clearly told you it is not database column okay support do you want to use like this save so generate the error okay I can told you first suppose you can use like this save in last one to generate the error so we don't want to use like this so you need to pass another parameter and you can send like a send message and send subject to the another parameter but I don't want to go because I don't want to use here save understand 
So let's save these files and just go back again and refresh the page and you can send the emails. But here is a, like a, I have lots of email there, so I can make a limit one, otherwise limit two. So let's go to okay. I think error there because I have not passed here semicolon. Let's save and just go back again. Refresh the page. So everything is good. Okay. Let's go to Google. Dummy text. Sorry, sorry. I just forgot uh, dummy text. So let's copy this one. Okay, and I just go to code view. Sorry. This is the dummy and I can type like iOS Android and I just choose the students. I think we can go to parents. So what is the total parents there? So three parents there. Let's send only parents because I don't want to send a student. Otherwise much time take to send an email. Okay. I just choose the parents and I just click on this send email because I am not choosing any users. Okay. So well, you can choosing the user so user can receive the email with so i just click on the send emails okay now just go back again because of the i have not removed the our debug mode so let's remove and save these files and just refresh the file again and i just copy okay let's refresh again and i just add here code and also i choose the parents and also add a subject so i click on the send email so taking few seconds because we are sending the three for email this reasons okay three email sending because it's a parents inside three type there so here you can receive the because i already set up mail trip so you need to set up the mail trip so i already show you in last video so you can see it so you can say one and two email there and here is showing the mail successfully send you see three email there's also subject there and also whatever message you are type here there and also is a parent because my all the name i have testing data so all place I will type like a parents, parents, parent. You see, this is the last name is a one, two, and three. So here you can see it like a parents, parents. So it's, you can like look like a same email because we our name is the same. So you can see it now, and I think you are clear how to send a mail using the student, using the parents, and using the teachers. Okay. So do you have any questions? So please comment out, and then next video we can start a new module about. Uh, I can think what is the best like a homework is a best module so we can do is a homework and I think the fees collection is a best module because everybody asked me about the fees collection so let's make a fees collection first after we can do is like a homework so and we can finish this project as soon as possible and I can start new project my e-commerce project so we can continue with e-commerce project so do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching